Rec is getting serious. And so is the entertainment of boxing. So let's just stick to the good stuff, you know. Welcome on to the Double RT Boxing Show, the Ready Ready Talk Boxing Show for the junkies in the boxing community. This is your boxing rehab. Come on in. Join the group circle. My name is Mr. A and I am addicted to ring generalship. Get into it for the WBA Continental title. That being held by Conor Ben. I like this fight. I like this fight a lot. Much like I like uh, Sebastian Formella versus Sean Porter. And this was the only... Um, this was the only boxing station letting you know that that was going to be a good fight. Everyone thought Sean Porter was going to steamroll him. Mr. A tried to tell you that was going to be a better fight than... Well, well, a lot of people thought. Not saying that Formella was going to make it uh, uh, a challenge and threatening, but I told you the dude has ring generalship. The dude knows how to time. He he could he could pick shots in between your shots. Um, he's and like and he's for the power that he lacks. He doesn't lack the courage to fight you. Which is kind of, you know, you don't see that too often. He will throw with you. Now, he ain't going to commit suicide and stand in the pocket and throw with you. But he definitely will throw with you more than you expect for a guy who lacks power. 22, one loss, just recently Porter with 10 knockouts. And you got to remember, his knockouts is versus the domestic level. And going against um, Conor Ben. Uh, the Destroyer, 16 and 11 knockout, 16 and 11 knockouts. Again, he is the champion, the WBA Continental, cracking the top 15 at number 15. Um, Sebastian Formella needs this fight because the fact that he has, I believe, taken that Sean Porter fight, he was ranked like number nine, I believe, if I am not mistaken. He was ranked number nine, but in the in the way that he lost. So uh, one-sided, he com- he's completely out of every ranking. So him being able to beat Conor Ben will give him the kickstart boost that he needs. He needs to get back in the mix because his name is out there. But you never want to be just known for a, a, a loss. And Conor Ben, and this, like I said, as as much as I like the fight for Sean Porter. I think those same attributes that Sean, uh, Sebastian Formella is, brings is going to be a, a higher test. It was a good challenge for Porter, or interesting challenge for the fact that he had ring generalship. And we know Porter is a guy who like to be heavy on his feet, not heavy on his feet, but front charge forward on his feet, trying to get the job done. And when you got a guy who's moving, it's kind of hard to uh, hunt down your target and bully him and knock him out. So with Conor Ben kind of also having that aggressive style, it's going to be good to see. And this is a good matchmaking because it, for Mello, who doesn't have the, the power to threaten to knock out Ben, or maybe perhaps even put him on the back foot, where we know that's Ben's weakness that he's shown so far. And uh, his defense is probably his, his offense is his best defense. So... In his weaknesses, Sebastian Formella doesn't have the strength to bring those out. But put him on the back foot. Um, show him that. Now, saying that, I don't really recall Conor Ben being in the ring with a mover like this. Will Conor Ben be able to track him down? Um, is he going to work behind a jab to track him down to force him where he wants to? Formella to go and where to be so that way he can un- uh, unleash a barrage so he can unleash a destroyer if, if, if Connor Ben like I said, he's saying all the good things I like his press conference Formella is just a down to earth cool cat you know you know it's he got that foreign that, so like up to us in the states he just has that foreign that foreigner uh English vocabulary where it's no sarcastic, it's no thing. It's like I say what I mean, and no joking in between. You know, I, I, the English I know. I'm just saying straight line what I mean. And Connor Ben, I said this is it's, it's going to be interesting to see 
the next, the little, I guess, I don't want to say next level, but uh, another layer of the onion on them. You know, can he cut off a, a mover? Can, again, like I said, can, is, is he going to dictate where he wants for Miller to be with the jab? Is he going to double up behind the jab? You know, because I feel if Conor Ben just goes out there trying to track him down and destroy him over hooks and power shots, um, it's going to... Even though he has the hand speed, I think with the hooks and shots, the hooking and hard shots, that's going to give Formella the ability to, like I said, pick in between the shots. And it's, with, without a jab, Formella just going to pick, be able to pick him apart. How much is going to hurt him, I don't know. But um, I, I, I like Hunter Ben. I like Formella a lot too. I, I actually like Formella's style. Again, I am Mr. A. I love from I love watching Formella fight. Um, but again, for the fact that the dude will give you a fight, he may not have the power to really like put someone out. But if you want to see someone move and pick between shots, the dude's entertaining to watch on that level. So I'm hoping to see a good case of that. But uh, again, I do like Connor Ben. And I'm going to go with um, Connor Ben working behind the jab. A nice training camp jab, doubling it up, putting Formella where he wants him to be, working the body, and hooking where Formella's gonna be. Like, put him where you want him to be with the jab, and then hook there and knock him out. Um, I do got, I'm gonna give Connor, even though Porter couldn't do it, and it's hard to say that Ben's gonna track him down better than Porter did. But I, I think Porter kind of let him off on some rounds. And I don't think Conor Ben's going to let him off. I think Conor Ben will go for a finished job. I'm going to knock out uh, ninth round. Thank you for your time and support. The WRT Boxing Show.